cops hold three suspects following deadly attack on soldier and friend. CNJ, keeping you updated, I am Simone Johnson, Northern News. Police say they have apprehended three men suspected to be involved in the murder of a Jamaica Defense Force private and another man in Spring Peace District, St. Anne. The men were held during a raid in the parish on Sunday, police sources said. Police said 25-year-old Leighton Sinclair, a JDF private, and 38-year-old Devoy Webb, a mechanic, both of Spring Peace District, St. Anne, were shot dead after leaving a party on Saturday. Reports from the Ocheres police are that about 11.20 p.m., residents heard explosions and summoned them. An arrival of the lawmen, both men were seen with gunshot wounds. They were pronounced dead at the hospital. A probal launch and three men taken into custody 24 hours later, released from the Constabulary Communication Unit, stated, During the search for the men, a Glock 49mm with 11 rounds of ammunition were seized in Paritown, St. Anne. The men were questioned with a few of offering charges. Investigations continue. An unknown alert has been activated for 14-year-old Aldine Harrison of Spanish Town Road, Kingston 13, who has been missing since Saturday, June 5th. He is of dark complexion, slim built, and is about 173 centimeters tall. Reports from the Hunts Bay Police are that about 11.30 a.m., Harrison was last seen at home wearing a black, long sleeve shirt, pair of jeans, and black and white sneakers. All efforts to locate him have proven futile. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Alden Harrison is asked to contact the Hunts Bay Police at 876-923-7111, Police 911, Emergency Number, or the nearest police station. 24 people were arrested in Carindan on Sunday for breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act. They were held during police operations in various communities. Superintendent Christopher Phillips, head of operations for the Carindan Police, told Railway Jamaica that he was disappointed. So many were breaking the curfew orders with no reasonable cause to be on the road. Some persons, too, who are on the exempted list we find they are abusing that privilege by transporting others, persons who are not on that listing all over the place, he pointed out. Superintendent Phillips expressed concerns about the compliance of Clarendon residents to the weekend curfew appear to be diminishing. He begged persons to obey the curfew time that is set by the government and warned that police will be clamping down on road breakers. A vendor was fatally stopped on Sunday night in Treadway, St. Kachin. He has been identified as 51-year-old Courtney Demetrius. It's reported that about 10.30, Mr. Demetrius and another man was walking in the community when they were attacked by a man carrying a knife. Mr. Demetrius was robbed of cash and a cellular phone before being stabbed. He was pronounced dead at hospital. The other man escaped injury. CNJ, keeping you updated. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new more news updates. Thank you.